I'm live, everyone. Calm down. It's okay. I'm still here. It's late at night, and I'm really hyper, so I thought I should make a video. Mm -hmm. See? Darkness. But I don't really know what to do about, so this is just going to be random stuff. Um, I'm home alone over Labor Day because my mom's having more fun than I am. That, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been reading the Harry Potter series again, and I've just barely noticed how much Draco swaggers. It always says Draco swaggered in. Draco swaggered away. Draco swagger, swagger, swagger. <laughs> I think it's awesome. And I don't know, I think it just adds to the awesomeness of J.K. Rowling's. Because who, who makes the villain, or whatever you want to call Draco, <laughs> swagger? Those villains don't villains villains don't swagger. They just don't. They I guess they don't saunter either. But they don't swagger. I just think it's so funny. I swear. I'm pretty sure in all I'm only I just finished book three last night. I know, I'm terrible. Um but I'm pretty sure in all three he swaggered at least once. And I think it was either the first or the second one, he swaggered like every other page. Not literally, federally. Wow, I cannot form sentences right now. Oh, that's how we do. He swaggers. Swaggers. This is me swaggering, even though I'm more hula hooping than swaggering. Anyway, I just got back from hanging out with my cousin. I had to do some things up at the mall, so I went and hung out with him, which is really weird because we don't really hang out that much. Uh, but it was really fun, and... He's having girl drama, and so I'm helping him with his girl drama because I am everyone's go-to gal. So, if you need me, the number is right there. Just kidding. I'm not going to give you my number, guys, honestly. A little serious matter. I really appreciate my grandma. Uh, she passed away a year ago, uh, this last month. Um, and But I was at work the other day, and where I work, a lot of older people come in. And I just realize how much I, I appreciate her for taking me around older people, the older generation, and helping me have some respect for older people. I know a lot of people that don't appreciate their elders like they should, and I have so much respect for all the, all the older people that I know. Um, ever since I was little, I would go with my grandma to go to her aunt's house and sew something or cook something or go to her cousin's house and just hang out and it's I've had some of the funnest times I've had have been with the older people and after what happened at my work yesterday I won't go into details because that's dumb and you guys don't even care but it really opened my eyes and made me appreciate how I've grown up and I owe a lot of that to my grandma. And I, it kind of makes me a little sad just because I, I realized that I've never, I never told her that. And it, you know, it just makes me a little sad. <laughs> and also yesterday, my grandma's sister came into my work. And I haven't seen her since the funeral. And uh, I, I never realized how much they look like each other. Um... She has the same hairdo as she used to have, and which is weird because that wasn't how she did her hair usually, and her eyes are kind of the same. And then she did something that my great-grandma and my grandma used to do all the time, and I basically broke down at work, and it was kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, happy moment over. I don't know this video to be interesting, and I really don't think it is. I just fell. I need ideas. I need to brainstorm. Oh! Um, big thing. Um, me and my friend Amanda that has been in a couple of my premiere videos, uh, we are going to possibly move in together up on campus. Uh, cause she's going to be transferring schools next year. So this is not going to be anytime soon. Nobody sit on the edge of their seats waiting for videos to happen. Um, but we're going to be moving up on campus. Hopefully, she's trying to get her parents to agree, because 
I think that they they don't want her to move. They're those kind of parents that are like, no, stay here forever. You don't never have to leave. You can just stay here and watch off of us for the rest of your life. Um. So we're trying to we're trying to get them to change their minds, just because I think she I think she needs to grow up. That probably sounds rather to me, but I think she needs to grow up. Anyways, so me and Amanda are hoping to move in together up at UV. Which, if you know, if you're from around here now, you know where I go to college. We're gonna go on adventures. We've already planned out like all the adventures that we're gonna go on. Well, not like planned out specifically. Just said, but more said that we're just gonna go on adventures. So, yeah. Also, today I went to a another play. I don't know. If, I've told you a lot about plays, haven't I? I think so. Yes. No. Maybe. Uh, but today I went to you just from the Technicolor Dream Coat, which is a big deal here in Utah. I bet you can't guess why. We went there, and it was amazing. And the narrator, Angela Jeffries, is amazing. She, well, I, there's another narrator, too, and she was Dolly and Hello Dolly when I saw it at Health Center. Uh, and she's amazing, too, but I love Angela's voice. She has such a strong voice, and she's so amazing. I've seen her three times now, and oh, she's incredible. Um, I encourage you, any of you that are in the Utah area, just because that's, you know, if if you're anywhere in Utah, you should just come all the way up up north and see this show because I don't even know if you guys probably can't even get into it because it was packed. It was totally full, totally sold out, and I'm pretty sure it's all sold out because, again, this is Utah, and it's kind of important down here. Um, but go to Health Center. Go see something that Angela Jeffries is in because she is amazing, 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 amazing. I can't tell you how amazing she is. Also, Joseph, I can't remember, I don't really know which Joseph it was. I think it was, I think I know who it was, but I don't think I know who it was. That doesn't make any sense, but they look the same. <laughs> That's all I tried to say. They look the same. So, he, whoever he was, I don't know which one he was. I'd go get the program, but they look really similar, and so I'm not really sure which one he was. But he was also really good, and he sounded like Donny Osmond, which kind of was good for me because that was the first time I saw uh, Joseph. Well, no, that is, no, that's the truth, actually. I was going to say that was a lie, but no, that was the truth. Um, I, when Donny Osmond came here to Kingsbury, I think, I think that was the right one, he, he performed somewhere, I think it was up at the U somewhere, but he performed up there and it was amazing, that was the first time I ever saw it, and then we also have the, the DVD, down, or not DVDs, it was the VHS downstairs, and, oh, I just love it so much, it's pretty much my favorite ever! So, um, that's about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. And I got another video to film. So I will catch you guys later.